We will go down in history as the generation that killed music and art. People from all walks of life are starting to wake up and question the current reality. A 400 strong ensemble of freelance musicians has played outside Parliament to highlight the plight of the music industry during the current restrictions. The protesters played just 90 seconds or 20% of Holst's Mars, reflecting the fact that eligible freelancers can only claim a maximum of 20% of their income from the government. The events supported by the Musicians' Union, which represents more than 32,000 performers in the UK, where 70% of its members have lost more than three quarters of their regular income during the lockdown. Per capita, we are the second biggest live ticket market in the world. It's bringing in four and a half billion a year, employing over 200,000 people. The protest came as Chancellor Rishi Sunak was asked about the plight of musicians and suggested they might have to find alternative employment. I, I can't pretend that everyone can do exactly the same job that they were doing at the beginning of this crisis and that's why we've put a lot of our extra resource into trying to create new opportunities for people. But that's, high a, new, quality. that's a different job isn't yeah. it? That's you saying that, that, go and get a different job. That, that, that is fresh and new opportunity. I can hear some say there are more important issues happening and no one is saying we are not all suffering in one way or another but the issue highlighted by the musicians has an ongoing ripple effect in our society. It's not only musicians that are struggling. Small businesses, bars, theatres, clubs, all being pushed to the edge by these lockdown measures. Killing small business and the livelihood of many freelancers in the art industry are not the only negative effects. The psychological factor, in my opinion, is far more dangerous. This is not just about money, it's about mental health. Music is, and has always been, a part of the fabric of everyday life. Whenever humans come together for any reason, music is there. Weddings, funerals, sporting events, and even men and women marching off to war. By removing music, they are destroying the fabric of our life. This is about us being social creatures. It gave me real hope to see some artists speaking out, but there aren't enough. I know that many artists are under pressure by their management teams, agents, record labels and studios to not speak out or rock the boat. The reality is there will be no boat to rock if we continue down this path of acquiescence. We need well-known artists to speak out and to support the people. I am sure there will be more brave voices speaking out soon. Share this and tag your favourite artists. Maybe they will lend their voice to the cause. There is also a petition online. I know the government will only act accordingly to their own agenda. But we should not be quiet. Let's use it to apply some much needed pressure. Think of how future generations will look at this. We destroyed every part of our lives and our silence betrayed the young and the elderly. For what? For a virus that has a 98% survival rate?